to start with the new project and I'm using version 4.26 for this tutorial and we'll use the third person template as our base project and it's going to have the blueprint type not C++ and you will just name this create project So once the project is created, we'll return to this. Okay, so the project is loaded. The first thing that we need to do is enable the plugins. So go to the plugins and then just search for gameplay abilities and gameplay tags editor. We'll need these two plugins for this to function properly. And it's asking for restart. We'll just restart it. Okay, so the engine has restarted. So the base work for the game playability system has to be done in C++. So what you want to do is go to file and create new C++ class. Show all classes. And the class that we're going to be creating is of character type. Next, it's going to be public and then just really name this base character. And hit create class. And by the way, you need some C++ compiler in your system like Microsoft Visual C++, Visual Studios, or Visual Studio Code. So it's going to take some time to add the C++ file to our project and compile it. So we'll return to the video once it's done compiling the code. Okay, so once the C++ code has opened, it will automatically navigate to basecreator.h header file. If you don't see this file, you can go to source, guest tutorial, that a public folder we have basecreator.h file, and inside the private folder we have basecreator.cpp file. So you don't need to know C++ code for uh, doing any of this. You can just simply copy and paste whatever I'm doing. And so we'll start by writing code and importing a few header files. So just before this line, basecreator.generator.h. Just go ahead and include header files. So we'll go hash include and first we'll include ability system component dot h. Sorry. And next we'll include ability system interface dot h. And next we'll include abilities and game play ability dot h. Next what we're going to do is um, just inherit from another class. So just after this public a character, put a comma and public and we'll inherit from i ability system interface class. So don't worry about the squiggly lines. Um, now we're going to declare and define a few properties that we'll be using uh, to expose our functionality to blueprints so that it's easier to manage for artists. Hmm. So we'll just type u property. This is the macro to expose it and we'll use visible anywhere blue print to uh, read write and category will be base character okay so in the next line we'll define our actual property so it's going to do ability system component a pointer so for a pointer we use steric and um, we'll just name this ability system comp put a semicolon at the end next we are going to define a u function so the u function this is a function that we'll be using inside of our blueprints so we just type this blueprint callable and Category will be base character, and this function will be of type void, 
and we just name this initialize ability and it's going to take a few arguments so first one will be t sub class of and this is going to have to type u game play ability and we'll just name this ability to get so this will show up as input node inside of the blueprints another argument we'll require will be ability level <coughs> i think that's it and we'll expose just one more function from the ability system interface so this allows us to uh, check for the ability system component regardless of the without casting actually and testing what type of class is actually having this ability system component so just type virtual and you ability system sorry system component pointer and get ability system component and const so this is a property we don't need to define this inside of our cpp file but this and this these are functions so we will need to define these inside of our uh, cpp file so we we'll just go and create our implementation and by the way if you don't have this uh, build studio build assistant uh, plugin you might want to type this manually at the end of the file so inside of our initialize ability, what you want to do is first check if we have a valid ability system component, curly bracket start and end, and then just if has authority and ability to get is a valid class start the body with the curly brackets and we will just call the ability system comp pointer and give ability and we we'll just pass on the structure as is so f game play ability spec and we pass ability to get oh sorry ability to get and the level that we require ability level and zero this is for the input code or the player controller we will not be using this and by the way this is just one type of the implementation that we are doing and there's another way that's shown in the live stream i think so you can go with this one or that one it's up to you but for this series we'll be following this uh, implementation so after this we'll type every system component and init ability actor info and it's going to be this this don't forget these semicolons at the end remember those <coughs> And so we have just this function remaining. So we'll just go ahead and create, an, create this implementation and simply return ability system comp. So before we move on, we just need to actually tell what this ability system comp is inside of our CPP file. It's already implemented, but we'll just need to tell this that and use the default implementation of the ability system component so inside of this constructor and think of this as the construction script inside of blueprint so just below this line we'll type ability system comp is equal to create default sub object and this is going to be of the type you can play ability um, nope it's going to be a type u ability system component and we just name this ability 
system comp. So basically, this is the name that's going to be shown to us inside of C++, uh, inside of blueprints. I think we are about done. So just one more thing I think we need to do is go to our castory.build.cs file. So we'll open this up and we need to add two modules so that the compiler knows that we are going to be using ability system component in our project. So just here we're going to type game play tags and one more will be game play ability. It's going to be abilities. Yes, that's it. So let's go ahead and try to compile this code. Go to build. Oh, before we do that, we need to close this engine because I have been facing issues that sometimes the engine crashes when we are trying to compile after adding new modules inside of C++. So just go ahead and close this and then just go to build and build solution. So the build has started. We'll return to this video once the compilation is done. It's going to take quite a while Okay, so it didn't take long to tell me that it has an error. So this is going to be blueprint with a single R. Mm, let's try it again. So once you see this um, build 162, one skipped and this, it means that code has compiled successfully. It's time to test this code, again go to debug and start without debugging. This is going to load up the engine for us and we we'll just test it once it's done. So the engine has loaded up and just to test this functionality, we'll open up the third person character. In the future, we're going to be modifying our blueprint class as well. But just for testing purposes, we are going to open up our third person character example. And inside of class setting, we're going to change our parent to base character. Now, this is not possible in real life to change parents, but in C++, in Unreal Engine, you can do that. Create your own parents in C++ and make those. And now you'll see we have a category called base character and a function called initialize ability. Now, this has the same inputs that we define inside our C++. Those are ability to get and ability level. And you see those are exposed to us inside of our blueprints. And also we have this ability system comp that we defined in C++. So this is it for this video. And in the next video, hopefully, I'll do the explanation of the C++ code. So for those who just want to implement the system without knowing what we are doing, feel free to skip that video and move on to the next one. And but in the next video, we'll do an explanation of the code that we have, what we have just written over here. So thank you very much.